Hey, mate. How are you? Hey, Ren. How are you? Uh, we're just here for Great Southern Bank's home turf, mate. We just thought we'd come and have a look around your humble abode. Well, let's, uh, I reckon, let's go through the garage. Well, we, we use that as more of the front door than the uh, actual front door anyway. Beautiful. So I'll, I'll take you in there. OK. Beautiful. Yeah. Hard to Yeah, <laughs> here we are. Yeah, I got my, uh, got my surfboards here all stacked yeah. up. And the next, next to uh, the golf clubs, which I don't use at all. Yeah, they don't. They look brand new. The surfboards look like they need a bit, bit of a more wax. But come in, come in the door. Table. Yeah, a bit of billiards. I like to uh, I like to challenge anyone who comes over and, and see if I can get one up on them early on by playing a game of snooker. So that's the way you like power move people yeah, coming yeah. in. I like how you've not really got too many sort of chalk marks on the roof. Uh, <laughs> one thing about my old house was I had a lot of chalk marks on the roof yeah. from just lack of care, just lifting it up. So I had to clean them. Um, you can see a few a few board games on the on the table there. We rotate between. We, we love our board games here. Which one's your favourite here? Um, Saboteur, it's a very small one here, it's just more like cards, but the, uh, during COVID a lot of the, the Heat boys were playing Saboteur with me and uh, loving it. I don't see Monopoly here, um, something that I know you're very good at is saving, so you'd be very good at Monopoly. Um, how did you go about saving for your first home? Creates a lot of arguments within the family, Monopoly, doesn't it? But uh, no, I was, I was probably fortunate, I'm an only child, so I was able to stay with my parents for a while there and, uh, and save money under their roof until, uh, until I decided it was time to move out and get a bit of space on my own and um, put the house deposit on, on this place here and we're, we're pretty stoked with it. It's a, it does the job really well, it uh, looks after itself and I'm not very good with my hands, I can't do much building or fixing, so uh, thankfully it doesn't need much of that. No, perfect. So your kitchen, you do a lot of the cooking? I always say I can probably cook whatever you want if, I, if I've got a recipe there in front of me, but then when I do, I probably go back to my staples of just tacos and uh, just a steak or a, or a good chicken here or there. One thing I do remember about we grew up together going through 17 and 19 was you made a spag bowl for everyone and you added barbecue sauce, which I've never seen before, but is now a staple part of my spag bowl <laughs> recipe. So thank you for that. So has in the middle of your beautiful open plan home, what makes this really feel like home for you? What 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 do you come home from a, a week away, a, a game away, and come back and go, yeah, I'm home? Uh, well, look, we've only got a small family at the moment. I'm lucky my, my partner looks after me and looks after the house really well too, but uh, coming home to my dog is always great. He, he, uh, he meets me and greets me with a lot of joy and happiness. And um, actually, let's go outside and, and meet him Beautiful. and say hello. His name's Flax. Flax. Flax is uh, actually a bit of a reference to my surfboards. They, uh, they get made with, with a flax cloth sort of mesh material. Um, but also, flax is a, is a plant-based material and it's also where you get linseed oil from, which uh, you put on your cricket bats. Okay. So, yeah, sort of worked well. So actually, I bought this barbecue off Usman Kawaja, our skipper with the heat at the moment. So yeah, he, uh, he got a new one and I was talking to him and said, you know what I could do with a barbecue? And he goes, I've got just the one for you. So went over, picked it up in the, in the trailer and brought it over to my place. and going strong. I've uh, got the pool over here, this is the pool area. Probably one of the only pools I'd say in Australia that gets used more in winter than summer because I use it a lot during pre-season training. I'll come home in pre-season and you know a bit of recovery, jump in the pool, the water's nice and cold so I'm able to able to let the muscles heal in the pool. Yeah very nice. Um, has beautiful home, first home. Did um, you find it quite difficult with your first home buying process or did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, no, um, I guess always trying to be smart with, with my money and, and make the best decisions. So uh, I got the help of a mortgage broker, went, and went, went to him and, and found my options, found which, uh, which banks were going to offer me the best rates and, um, and went from there. It actually was quite simple from there. Uh, you know, it's always a nervous time buying your first home, wondering if it's the right, right choice, the right house, the right amount of money you're spending. Um, but it all came together in the end and, and now I'm just glad that I, I did it. I'm glad I took the plunge and, and I'm here now and happy. Perfect. Well, this is a beautiful spot. I could sit out here all day. I'll just go for a little nap. Well, Haz, thank you very much for showing us around your house, um, your home turf, so to speak. Um, surprised that we didn't get a challenge of a pool or a board game. I think maybe that you're talking about your power move, it's normally Maybe you just didn't want to lose today. So I appreciate the uh, non-challenge and just showing how much of more of an alpha I am compared <laughs> to you. So thank you very much. It was great to see you at your home, uh, beautiful home. So congratulations. I will see you at training later on. Drop in whenever you like. Beautiful. Cheers, Haz.
From wicket to picket, we'll help you save for a home with clever products and tools. Great Southern Bank, happily clever after.